I've always seen photography as a sort of um, uh, uh, um, an interesting medium. You know, photography for me is a medium built around conceptual tensions, and, and so it offers me a means to bring together irresolvable contradictions, uh, by and large, that is. Uh, you know, and you could say that my images uh, sort of depend on photography's inherent tendency uh, to make each space believable, but there is always a disturbing suggestion that all, all is not what it seems. And, and, and this process of uh, a slow revelation and, and sense of temporal manipulation is really crucial uh, to my work uh, and, and to my practice at large. Uh, and as I mentioned earlier, you know, um, uh, my project tries and also question the way in which we relate to and perceive images. Uh, and I think that's, uh, um, you know, that's certainly important in uh, uh, many of the bodies of work that I've, con that I've produced up until uh, recently. My main influence was really the, uh, 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 I guess, the first topographic surveys made during sort of the industrial years. Uh, I've, uh, I've always found those fascinating. Um, and I had always really wanted to uh, to explore that theme, but it's not a theme very uh, easy to explore because the conditions have to be right. I mean, uh, uh, the logistics of really organizing a project like this are quite complex, uh, and it's a project that has and requires a substantial uh, substantial resources uh, to to tackle it. Uh, and at the same time, I guess you could say that the most difficult is really trying to obtain access to locations such as these. Um, and in this case, uh, you know, there was uh, an interesting marriage of all of these, uh, all of these uh, facets, which really um, created the perfect platform for me to be able to, uh, to tackle a project like this. Two and a half years to three years ago, I was invited by the DDP Foundation to to produce a sort of artistic intervention or residency, if you like, in some of uh, uh, EDP, that's Portugal's main uh, electricity company, in some of EDP's uh, 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 hydraulic projects. So there was no real theme or brief to start with, and uh, and I think at the time uh, they had a, a, a much more modest uh, uh, idea for this project that it ended up becoming. Um, and uh, I guess it, it, it was always up to me uh, from the very start to really propose a specific uh, uh, idea, a specific theme, a specific uh, uh, project to the foundation itself. And that's, that's really what I did. And I started out by doing, I guess, uh, uh, a very brief recce to three of Portugal's most prominent dams in the northeast of Portugal. Uh, um, and those were the dams of Picot, Ben Poste, and, and Miranda. Uh, and I, it, it became immediately clear to me that I needed to uh, uh, make the power stations the central focus of the work. Uh, now, one of the reasons is is uh, uh, um, is partly because I actually s uh, thought these spaces were by far the most interesting. Uh, and again, because there was this sort of overlapping of temporalities at play in this work, this overlapping of narratives at play in the work. Uh, but also because, uh, uh, you know, I felt that I had very little to contribute to a culture, a visual culture already saturated by images of dams. Uh, imagery, which really has been worn out by decades of, uh, of I guess, heroic images about the subject matter. So, uh, you know, a lot of these spaces that you see here, they were really built at a time of, uh, um, I guess, uh, exciting technological innovation. And you could even say optimistic belief in the future, you know. Uh, and, and if you compare the architecture of uh, a lot of the uh, older power stations, uh, uh, which date from the 1920s through to 1970s, so if you compare the architecture of those power stations to the more modern ones, it becomes immediately clear that they were far more than mere utilitarian or economic mm -hmm. projects. They were also political, social, and you can even say aspirational projects. Uh, um, you know, and. You could also argue that they try to be true exponents of what we today associate with the ideology of the modern. And obviously, uh, to come back to your initial question, you know, what really interests me is that today we know that nothing really panned out in the way that the ideological narrative of the modern made us believe that it would. Uh, so that is why I say earlier that there is a, a, um, an interesting confluence of temporalities at play in this work. So, in these spaces, I am in the present, referencing a past that looks at the future, if you like. Uh, um, so, you know, to, to sum up, you could say that the project is not really just about the mechanisms 
uh, uh, and the generation of power, but also the dream and technological utopias. Uh, um, you know, it's uh, I guess it's uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's a project that really also talks about the paradox of modernism and modernization.